Hello and welcome back to my journey from normal to Norway. Um, things are weird right now, <laughs> um, as you very well know. And so that's an obvious statement, but um, yeah, I just feel off. It feels like the whole world is off um, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not great with change in general. I'm not great with uncertainty in general, and this just feels like constant changes and constant uncertainty. And um, to me, it feels like each day is like exponentially worse and more dire and more reasons to be afraid. And I don't know what's true or what's not or or you know how freaked out to be or how freaked out not to be or you know it just does not feel great right now um and I yeah I it makes me feel like a naive child and selfish and ugh, all that but I'd like I just want things to go back to normal. <laughs> um, I want the world to go back to normal. Um, and that just feels so simplistic and whatever, but it is what it is. It is how I'm feeling. Um, <sighs> you know, trying to um, keep up some good spirits and some positivity, but obviously that's just really difficult right now. Um, I am <clears throat> for now still, uh, going into work each day, but, um, it's a skeleton crew of only people who absolutely have to be there to get the job done. Um, and then even within that, you know, we kind of have like staggered shifts and so um like my coworker is going in in the morning and then we're switching off then I'm going in in the afternoons um to kind of finish up what we would normally you know get done that day um so there is a little bit of that where you know I'm getting out each day and whether that's good or bad at this point I don't know but um but then yeah it is a lot more time at home and as I've said before I live alone here you know um, so it is just me in my little one bedroom apartment, um, in LA and, um, you know, there's this, uh, a big thing I struggle with in general and just before all this, just in life is, is the shoulds, which I've talked about before on here. And I get, um, into my head, all these ideas of, of what I should be doing or how things should look or how they should be going and all of that. And so that's just naturally a struggle that I have, um, and this is just another opportunity for <laughs> that voice to uh, make an appearance in my brain of, you know, well, if, you, if you're going to be at home more then you know, you should be tackling all of these, you know, projects you've been wanting to do. I mean, I've, again, talked on here before about how, like, I want to be going through my entire apartment and, you know, reorganizing and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And, and so there's this voice in my head that's like, well, here's a perfect opportunity. You're going to be home more. You do it. You should be really, you know, productive and spending all this time doing this. And, um, but it's, it's a hard time right now. And, and there's naturally going to be some like fear and some, um, like, depression thoughts and reactions um and so I'm just trying to like have grace with myself and allow <laughs> some of those things like you know I'm I'm not gonna be wanting to be super productive like I am gonna be wanting to numb and zone out and um sleep more and um you know I, I'm not gonna be the best with checking things off my to-do list. I'm not going to be the best with, you know, food and, and all of that. Um, and just, that's okay. And, and believing for myself that that's okay, that, you know, whatever I'm going through right now, it's, it's temporary and it's, um, just how, um, I need to be responding and I need to go through this time and, and 
I'm not going to be in this place forever. I'm going to come out of it and it's going to be okay. And, um, you know, so I'm just trying to have grace with myself and, and I just really wanted to like, even though this is not a super upbeat episode, um, I just kind of, if there was anybody out there who is feeling how I'm feeling, you know, I want you to hear this too, you know, like if you're having any of those like should thoughts and, and, you know, shame thoughts and all of that, that, that wherever you are right now, you know, however you're responding to this, it's, it's okay. Um, this isn't going to be forever. Um, you are not alone. Um, and it is going to be okay. You are going to be okay. And where you're at right now is okay. Um, so I really wanted to say that to whoever needs to hear it like I do. Um, but then I thought I would also kind of mention, you know, during this time, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do things that are, that, that make me happy, that bring me joy. Um, I, you know, I have lists on both Netflix and Hulu of, you know, three or four new shows that I want to be watching that I want to get into. And well, I've got a little more time now and I just was sitting here last night just struggling to start any of them. I really just didn't feel like it. I didn't want to. And I finally came to the realization that I just don't think I have the capacity <laughs> to take on anything else new right now. There's so much new happening, so much change already that I just, I just don't have room for any more of it right now. Um, and that's another thing for me to be okay with. So, um, I found for me that there were some like familiar things that, um, that I know that I like. And so I'm going to go back to those right now. Um, and enjoy that. Uh, so a short list of things for me that, um, that I'm enjoying right now. Um, one is rereading fan fiction <laughs> that I've read over the last, um, few years, um, that I've enjoyed some of my favorites. I'm revisiting those, um, and rereading them. Um, something else I've mentioned, I think on here before is a YouTube channel that I follow, um, it's uh, Haley Fitzgerald's channel. It's called Hi, I'm Haley. And um, she doesn't post as often as anymore. She's gotten very busy. She's um, a professional dancer. And so she's been on tour and, and she dances with like JLo and stuff. Um, she's been super busy. But I've always enjoyed her sense of humor and her videos and how she edits them. And um, starting today, she's kind of decided to do... Um, one video every day during this time, um, to kind of put some joy out into the world. And so already today's video, I mean, I was like laughing and smiling the whole time. So, um, I really enjoy her style, her sense of humor. And so I encourage you to check that out. Um, and if you enjoy it, keep watching because she said she's going to post a video every day. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then some things that I've been rewatching. <laughs> One is on Hulu, um, which is Songland, which is a um, songwriting competition show that is just very uplifting and feel good and positive. And um, I just really enjoy it. There's been one season, uh, which was last year, and there's supposed to be a second season coming out. And um, I just, yeah, I'm not a musical person. I love music, but I don't, I don't know anything about it. I'm not, you know, talented in that area, but I really um, enjoyed that show. Um, and then the other one, which I just started rewatching last night, um, was the latest season of, um, the Great British Baking Show, um, which I've, you know, enjoyed all of the seasons. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I started rewatching that and it was so perfect because I already felt like I wanted to film this video right now tonight. Um, and then I was like gonna, um, let my, you know, phone, which I filmed this on charge for a little bit and watch one more episode. And it was so perfect because at the end of the most recent episode, um, one of the contestants on the show, um, Priya was, um, talking and she was saying, um, that, you know, she had quit her job a year ago and she'd been kind of feeling stuck and having a difficult time. And she just kind of had made the choice for herself that she was going to just, pursue the things that she enjoys and um and what she's learned from that is that when you pursue things you enjoy you can't go wrong um and I just loved that and it seemed like the perfect timing because right when she said that 
even though I'd seen this episode before, it really like hit me and I was like, that's something that I want to say in this video. Um, that, that, I mean, everything about the Norway dream in my life and, and what I've been doing towards that and visiting last year and learning the language, it all brings me joy. But um, this, this YouTube channel from normal to Norway, this is something that I enjoy. Um, and so I'm just really grateful for that. And I'm a little emotional right now, even like thinking and talking about it. But whoever you are out there watching this, um, like, thank you, because you are part of something that I enjoy. You're part of something that brings me so much joy. And I feel like right now is one of those times in life where I just, I really need it. We need it. Um, and so thank you. Thank you for being part of something that brings me joy. And um, please, you know, if you want to interact with me, um, comment here. Um, I'll reply. Um, yeah, let's... Um, now more than ever, let's just focus on following things that bring us joy and doing whatever we can to bring each other joy. I think that's a great place to start. Um, I'm going to work on that. I hope you do too. Um, I'll be back to talk with you again sometime, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, and as always, until then, hada.